So you didn't get enough and you're back for more. Okay, this is subnetting video 24. We're going to look at finding a network from an address. We haven't done that before. What we've done so far is look for all the list of all the networks and then figure out what addresses we have on those networks. But what if you're given an address and you need to figure out which network it's on? So sometimes you have this situation. I have an address. What network am I on? A case where this may happen would be, say I'm given a diagram. And on this diagram, I've got maybe four or five different hosts. But I know that one of them is not communicating. And I need to determine if it's on the right network. Maybe it's on the wrong network. And that's why it's not working. Well, that might be a case where I would have to figure out what network are all the addresses on. So let's take a look at how we might do this. And so here's my first example. What network is the host 10.233.197.237/16 on? Well, let's take a look at how we might do that with our chart. We know that this is a slash 16, so we're going to be working in this place right here. And we know that that's the second octet and that the increments will be one in the second octet. Well, if the increments are one in the second octet, the first network address would be 10.0, the second one would be 10.1, and then 10.2, 10.3, and so forth. So 10.232 is a network, 10.233 is a network, and hey, look at that, we are on 10.2. 33. So we know that the network address is 10.233.0.0 and we are host 197.237 on the 10.233 network. All right, that one was fairly simple. Let's take another one. 192.168.86.67/27. All right. Where are we on our table? We are on the slash 27, right? We're right here. <clears throat> slash 27. So we know that the increments are 32. Because we're here, it's in the fourth octet. Increments are 32 in the fourth octet. So let's just do that until we get close to 67. Zero. We increment 32 in the fourth octet. Another 32 in the fourth octet. We're at 64. Another... 32 in the fourth octet, we're at 96. Ah, we that's too high. So we are in 67. So we're back here on the 192.168.86.64 network. So this is the subnet that we're on. We know, by the way, already that the first usable host address would be .65. The broadcast address would be .95, right? This one minus one. The last usable host address would be .94, one before the broadcast address. So we have all this, and of course we already know that we are on the uh, 255.255.255.224 subnet mask, or slash 27, whichever way you would like to say it. Well, so far so good. Let's take a look at one more of these things. So this is where we landed on this one. On this one, we're going to look at 192.168.228.168/28. What network is that on? Well, we're dealing with slash 28, so we're right here. So let's color that in and see that we are going to increment the fourth octet by 16. The fourth octet because that's what this one is in. The 16 because that's what's directly above us. Now remember, if we were down here somewhere... We would still use 16 as the increment, but we would be doing the 16 in the second octet or the third octet. But no, we did, we had a slash 28, so we're in the fourth octet. So we're going to increment 16 in the fourth octet. Well, here's the problem. Fourth octet, 0, 16. Oh man, it's going to take me a long time to get to 168. So is there a way that I can do this more quickly? Well, yes, there is. And this is a little trick that I use. Here's what I realized. It turns out that 16 here is that six, if you double 16, you have 32. So six, so 16 is always a factor 
of 32. It's also a factor of 64. See, it goes into 32 twice, goes into 64 four times, goes into 128 eight times, and so forth. It's, it's always a factor of every one above it. Now, not any of these increments below it, but just the increments above it. Because it's a factor of these increments, I can jump up any to any one of these. I could immediately go to 192.168.228.128, and I'd be a long ways there. Well, let's do this. I'm going to do. I'm going to add a 128 to get up to 128. Then I'm going to go ahead and do another 32 to get to 160. Now I'm getting close. So now I'm going to increment my one. <clears throat> I'm going to go to 160. Increment to 176. And oh, I'm at 168. So I'm on this network here, the 160 network because the 176 network is the next network up. Now I'm doing this all without the table that I made earlier. And you'll discover that the table is a nice way to learn, but as you go, you'll quickly start just discarding the table and doing it in your head. All I'm doing is the network column from our table, but I'm jumping up a little bit here. <clears throat> I know that, for example, that the uh, first host address here is 161. The broadcast address is 175. The last usable address is 174. And of course, my subnet mask is uh, slash 28, which is the same as 255, 255, 255, 240. So that's it. 160 is the network that this address is on. Not too difficult, but it does take some practice. And uh, then this little trick of jumping ahead by using or adding together numbers ahead of the increment that you're on currently. There you have it. Have a good time with this, and we'll take on another type of problem in the next video.